Jesus told me to announce the shutdown of the economy of Harlem, starting with the restaurants. These are just some big names, but all of them. And we'll put their other one's pictures up and names up uh, as we broadcast this. Jesus told me to announce this, if you don't mind. I'm just a messenger. Restaurants like the Corner Social, the Harlem Tavern, the Red Rooster, Harlem Shake. Now remember I told you an hour ago when I got started that Jesus is angry and bitter and he's going to kill 7 billion people in what is known in Matthew's Gospel chapter 24 as the tribulation. He's going to tear down the temple. He's going to call earthquakes and pestilence and famines and all kinds of other calamities with wars and rumors of wars and the infestation of restaurants in Harlem and Fort Greene. The corner social. The Harlem Tavern. The Red Rooster. The Harlem Shake. That God has told me to tell them that there will be people quietly and secretly applying diarrhea sauce to all of their menu items. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Some people think it's funny, but it's really wet and runny. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Sauce on the salmon filet, the hamburger, the lobster, the lamb, the chicken, the sauce, diarrhea. See, diarrhea is like a sauce that isn't lumpy, and you can just spread it on the salmon, and it looks like some sort of a new teriyaki sauce, but it's going to be diarrhea. God told me to tell y'all that. I'm just the announcer. On every restaurant, including the ones we just named, the Red Rooster, Harlem Shakes, uh, the Corner Social, Harlem Tavern, that every restaurant on Frederick Douglass Boulevard, the same thing would apply. I just don't have all the names in there, too many names to mention. But the same diarrhea sauce will be applied by cooks, waiters, busboys, janitors, and patrons of such restaurants. This is the announcement of the Lord. The Lord also told me to tell you that the menstruating fluids that women will collect as patrons, they will collect their menstruating fluids. The Lord told me to tell you this. And come into your restaurant and sit down. And when the waiter turns his back, they'll take a vial of that menstruating fluid that they put in a fingernail polish bottle and they'll pour that menstruating fluid into the ketchup bottle and then shake the ketchup, shake well before using. And not just that, but the men will spit in the salad dressing bottles and the ketchup bottles. And the Lord says something like toe jam also, where you put in the dressings. Of all the restaurants in Harlem, that they'll be administrating fluid in the ketchup and the mustard. And stores like Whole Food and Olive Garden and Jacob's and Manor's restaurant, the same be unto you, the exact same unto you. The Lord said that that's what people will do. Not me, but, but let me tell you why the Lord is angry with y'all restaurant tours the economy of Harlem, is that the New York City Department of Water and Environmental Protection has allowed a bank to charge the Outlaw World Missionary Church $2 million in counting at 18% compounded interest per day for flushing a toilet in a building that is used 100 and stomp down percent for not-for-profit use, a homeless shelter, a grade school to, to high school, a ministry, and a pastor's parsonage. And every inch of this building is used for not-for-profit. But the Department of Environmental Protection, at the behest of the gentrifiers, will not give us a full exemption. And so that now they've run up a bill of $2 million against our church for flushing the toilets, flushing our diarrhea. So God's going to send it back to you. He's going to let it back up on you. 
what you serve is what you get. Y'all in Harlem laughing and praying that our church will be foreclosed. What you give is what you get. That same diarrhea, that same urine, that same menstrual blood that we flush is what's going to be on your table in not too many days, saith the Lord of hosts. I thought that you might want to know that. But, uh, you know, I, at one time I said, well, you know, here's what I'll do. I'm going to take, I'm going to buy 100 toilet bowls, go up to Home Depot and buy 100 toilet bowls, right? And then take them on a truck down to City Hall, put them all out in City Hall and have 100 people sit on the toilet bowls and say, flush me. Well, the sign on it said flush me. I said, I think I'll do that. I get some attention, right? Get the media involved in it. And then I thought better about it. And because, you know, a hundred toilet bowls cost a whole lot of money. Them toilet bowls, something cost five, six, seven hundred dollars. I around and spent several thousand dollars. I said, that's too much money. And then the Lord told me to announce the diarrhea sauce brigade. The menstrual blood in the ketchup bottle. In every restaurant, including McDonald's and Burger King. That's a whole lot cheaper. And besides, I don't get involved in the process. So here, those of you who object to what I've just said, curse be you. Curse be everything you put your hand to. And everybody has raised their voice, members, former members, friends and foe, or foe and whoever, and enemies, raise your voice against Atla, curse be you. Die, let that coronavirus get on you. Die, die dog, die, die dog, die. Cursing raising your hand against this church. This is the Lord's house. Thank you all. And so I wanted to get that announcement out on behalf of Almighty God. Now remember, I started an hour ago telling you that the Lord is angry. Jesus is angry. Why? How do you know? Well, he said he's going to kill off all flesh with earthquakes, famines, pestilence, wars, rumors of wars. Diarrhea sauce, administrating blood, and the coronavirus. He's angry. He's bitter. And I am too. But the worst is yet to come. 